Ah, uh, money. Don't we all love money? I know you love money. I know I love money. Even though my bank account does not represent that at this very moment. <laughs> and probably won't for a very long time. That's besides the point. We all love money, right? And when you think of YouTubers, what do we usually think of? I think of ads. I think of AdSense. So you want to make money on YouTube. You want to know how. You want to know what's the average first paycheck. You want to know how to actually earn some income off this thing you like to do. You want to know how these rich YouTubers get these house tours and buy these Bentleys. You want to, you want to, you want to be wealthy. You know what I'm saying? Um, this probably isn't the best video for that, but I will be showing you guys how much I made with my first YouTube you loop. I will be showing you guys how much I made with my first YouTube paycheck. <laughs> Oh my god, it was so much not as much as I thought it would be. And I'll be giving you guys really good tips on how to make money on YouTube because I feel like there's a hacking system to this. It's gonna be basically all about the moolah. Ooh la la. <laughs> I instantly judged you too. Without further ado, let me show you guys how much I do not have in my bank account. Okay, now I'm gonna pull up my computer, so I'm just gonna show you straight up. I'm not gonna try to prolong the video with my funny nature. It often happens. <laughs> Can't help it. But I wanna really just get to the nitty gritty of things and just tell you guys how much I make on YouTube because that's why you're here. So let's go. Let's go backyard again. So firstly, before we get into how much I make or how much I made for my first paycheck and how to maximize your money from AdSense on YouTube, I want to tell you how to first get AdSense, how you, the requirements you need to get AdSense and all the things you need to do. So first things first, you have to have you at least a thousand subscribers, at least a thousand people. They can be bots. They can be fakes, but they need to be subscribed, period. You just need subscribers, at least a thousand. A thousand subscribers is honestly hard to get. I know when I first started out, I had like 67 for like five years. So if you're struggling, so am I. If I can do this, you can do this because I'm very untalented. <laughs> And awkward so the first thing you need is a thousand subscribers it sounds hard but like so is everything else in this world like breathing is hard for a lot of people that just got really sad like some people like literally have to use a thing to help them breathe so you'll figure out how to get a thousand subscribers you know it's not that difficult but you might need to sell your left kidney <laughs> be serious for a second you must have at least 4,000 hours <coughs> of watch time which I've probably watched a million hours of YouTube is that physically possible why are you like this make it make sense what's a million hours in days that would be 41,666.67 days that's a lot of sixes how long is 41,670 days in years that would be 114.09 years see i knew i was a vampire so there's that i know i've watched a lot of youtube but 4,000 hours was the hardest to get i got a thousand subscribers before i got 4,000 watch hours what's 4,000 hours in days that would be 166.67 days. Again, a lot of sixes. So to get 4,000 hours, to make it more like concise, let's say you had a video for me. I first got 4,000 hours when I had a video that got around 100,000 views. So you need to have around that much. Let's say you have 100,000 views on your channel. You need an average audience retention of 2 minutes and like 50. It could be a little bit less than that. But around you want to have a good like 2 minute 50 audience retention. The easiest way to get that is to have longer videos, to have have engaging content that will keep people watching and to just upload as much as you can and you have to adhere to their YouTube requirements was they don't like lots of profanity they don't like a lot of violence like family friendly content is what they like to put their ads on the most so the more profanity you are the more edgy you are the less ads you get so you can probably assume I don't get that many but in this video, we'll find out how much I made for my first check. After you do the requirements, you'll get sent this. You just gotta confirm your address so that you're like, they're a real person, not a robot. And you just go on Google AdSense, you use your PIN number, and then you can start putting ads on your video. And they can resend it to you if you lose it. It only takes a couple of days. Yeah, you just gotta have your Google AdSense thing to start up your ads. Now all the basics are done. I don't think I described any of this well, but let's move on. The main reason you came to this video is to see how how much I made. Which you waited until five minutes in to talk about. So now on to the juicy stuff. How much I made with my first paycheck. Mm. 
it's like lots of money. Not much, I see. Okay, so right now I'm showing you guys my AdSense. This is my Google AdSense account. So I started my channel, honestly, in 2010. I like started YouTube, I was like, I wanna be a YouTuber, oh my god. And I love how YouTubers are always like, I didn't know you could make money on YouTube when I first started. I knew when I was 10 years old in 2010 that this would be an avenue to make money. So before you didn't have to get monetized, in like 2016, there was like no requirements. So I was just naturally monetized, but I wasn't making much money. Let's see, one day I made 15 cents, so. That will buy you a pinch of salt. Um, but if you scroll up, in 2017 is when I was officially monetized um, in January. Uh, <laughs> I was so happy. I missed out on so much money if I get monetized or if I grow really fast. But if you only get 4,000 watch hours, you're probably at the most only missing like $100. Unless you have really good CPM, which I'll get into later in this video. But CPM is cost per thousand ad impressions, which I want to get into because a lot of people mislead viewers to think that like I get 100,000 views. That's 100,000 ad impressions, which it's not. So when people just divide their views by their CPM and they're like, oh, this is how much I'm going to make, that's not true because not all those people are seeing your ads. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, we'll get into that later. But as for this, I was not making that much because after I got that 100,000 views, my kind of views plummeted. So I wasn't making that much. So my first paycheck didn't come for a minute. Bam! Those are my two biggest days. So August, August 1st and September 1st. So those were my big months and that's when I started getting paid. That's when I just had a video go off really well. Um, I made a video on how much Emma Chamberlain made and I did a sugar daddy video. That's how much I made in August, September. And then those were like kind of the following months. We're kind of decent. Now I'm like barely making any money so that's fun. <laughs> Love that for me. It's not how much I made that month but it's how much I ended up having that month. So I gained $57.25, that's how much I made that entire month, and I only had $3.20 to begin with, so my ending balance was $6.45, and then September, my ending balance was $84.75, so it took me a minute from once, once I was monetized to actually get paid. So I didn't get paid until, you get paid the next month, in the middle of the month, so I didn't get paid till like September 15th, um, November 15th, next month. But I, this is when I finally had $150 in my bank account. So it took me a very long time to actually get my ads into money. It took me one, two, three. It took me like nine whole months to get my first paycheck on YouTube after being monetized. I have 2.1 million views on my channel. But my money that I've gotten from YouTube does not reflect that because a lot of my views are not ad friendly because they're a lot, very suggestive content. I do a lot of swimsuit hauls and stuff like that. So a lot of those, there's going to be no ads on them. Another way you get paid on YouTube is through sponsorship. So you know when everyone was showing off that like one game or that one acne company or audible y'all make some sh money from that most influencers that's their main money source is from sponsorships because sponsorships are willing to play, pay a lot for advertising to a specific audience I average sponsorship for me ranges from 50 to 200 dollars at the most I've gotten 200 at the least I get 50 I do accept sponsorships for less where I'll just show the product if I like it for no money for free so that's how much I get with a small channel at this point as I'm filming this video I have 17,000 Subscribers, so on average I get like around around I ask for like a hundred dollars So I'm gonna give you a short rundown on how to make your AdSense check more hefty Um, I don't want to get too much into this because I'm starting another channel for the reason that I want a heftier CPM if you want more details on how to grow your CPM That's gonna be on my broke girl makes money channel. That's all about being financially independent making money I'm gonna have college type videos on there as well and it's all about being like a boss making your money okay because that's what we're trying to do it's hot money season okay i don't care about being a hot girl i care about being a rich girl period that's all i care about and being a hot girl i want to be both <laughs> But first of all, I want to say for your CPM, it depends on your type of channel and the type of video in it. So obviously a 10 minute video is going to have more ads in it because with a 10 minute video, you can place more ads on your video than like a 3 minute video. So having a 10 minute video already makes it for more ad impressions, possibilities for your viewer. So they have more possibilities to click on an ad, view an ad, interact with an ad, whatever, what have you, they have more when you have more ads on each video. So 10 minute video, obviously 
will raise your CPM a little bit. Also, the subject of the video. No cursing. If you curse in the first couple minutes of the video, your CPM will be lowered. If you're too suggestive, you might not even get ads on your video. So having more clean content will definitely bump up your ads. Three, having a distinct market. A market that's going to make you money. So obviously, think about it. Think about, let's say, Beauty Guru channel. On average, how much does a thing cost from like Sephora? Probably around 20, 30, 40 bucks. Sephora is more expensive. So if a beauty channel promotes a product and you click on the ad and it's like Too Faced Mascara, you click on that ad, if you purchase that product, they made $30. Do you see what I'm saying? For 20, like $20, they do what mascara costs, 20 bucks. So that ad's probably not gonna be f five cents. That ad's probably gonna be around three to four dollars because they're getting more money if that person buys that product. Versus, let's say you have a booktube channel. I've seen booktube. There's so many different genres on YouTube, by the way, so I feel like I don't know what to make my channel about. There's so many options! But, um, a book channel. Books usually cost around 10, 7 bucks. So if a viewer clicks on that ad, they're not gonna see as much money back. Or you have a channel, let's say you have a tech channel. Tech channels make a lot of CPM. Because think about it, most of their ads are for cell phones, they're for computers, they're for cameras. So if you buy the item or even click and look interested on their website or whatever, they're gonna make more money from that customer than let's say a beauty guru. Let's go even a step further and say you have a financial channel. So you talk about finances, you talk, talk about selling things online, e-commerce, Amazon affiliate, you talk about real estate, you talk about cars. Cars are really, you can make a lot of money in cars because think about it, cars are one of the most expensive things you would buy, you'll buy in your lifetime. So for me, that's why I'm making my channel called Broke Girl Makes Money and that's gonna be all about making money which I'm gonna do a whole video going more in depth with this but there's a guy that his CPM is literally $43 so if you're in for YouTube just for the money honey which I don't think is a bad thing a lot of people are like I don't care if people are on YouTube for the money first of all sis you probably still wouldn't be doing YouTube half of these big YouTubers you probably wouldn't still be doing YouTube unless you were making money because you wouldn't have time to do YouTube because you'd have to find another way to make money so it's okay if you want to do YouTube for the money I also love it but I still want to make money like I have to support myself but I will be doing a part two to this video I'm actually gonna script it out because this was kind of all over the place but I will be speaking more about CPM how to make more money on YouTube and all that stuff in a separate video because I want you to subscribe to my broke girl makes money channel but that's about it you guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up I don't know why you would like it I was very scatterbrained I hope I can edit it into something that makes sense subscribe for more videos thank you guys so much for watching and I hope everyone that's watching this video can start a YouTube channel and create their success in their life and be happy that's all I want I want you guys to be happy and fulfilled let's all make money on YouTube and hot and here's the hot I'm gonna wave on um, me some some AdSense. Some AdSense. Give me more AdSense. My AdSense sucks right now because my channel is not appropriate. Ay, ay. Y'all, I'm gonna go. I'm tired. I gotta go apply for classes.